This is Microsoft Software License Terms, Microsoft Visual Studio, Community 2022. These license terms are an agreement between you and Microsoft Corporation or based on where you live. One of its affiliates, they apply to software named above. The software named above means Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2022. The terms also apply to any Microsoft services or updates for the software, except to the extent those have different terms. If you comply these license terms, you have the rights below. Installation and use rights. Individual license. If you are an individual working on your own applications, either to sell or for any other purpose, you may use the software to develop and test those applications. Either to sell or for any other purpose. It means if you are an individual working on your own application, you can sell your own software that you developed using Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2022. Organizational license. If you are an organization, your users may use the software as follows. Any number of users may use the software to develop test applications released under Open Source Initiative approved open source software license. Any number of your users may use the software to develop and test extensions to Visual Studio. Any number of your users may use the software to develop and test device drivers for the Windows operating system. You can read more. If none of the above apply and you are also not an enterprise below, then up to five individual users can use the software concurrently to develop and test your application. So if you are not individual developer or you do not belong to any organization listed above. In such case, up to five individual users can use the software concurrently to develop and test your application. If you are an enterprise, your employees and contractors may not use the software to develop or test your application except for open source Visual Studio extensions device drivers for Windows operating system, SQL Server development, education purpose as limited above. An enterprise is any organization and its affiliates who collectively have either more than 250 PCs or users or 1 million US dollar or equivalent in other countries in annual revenues and affiliates means those entities that control via major ownership are controlled by or are under common control with an organization. That means basically if you are an enterprise who has more than 250 PCs or users or 1 million US dollar in annual revenue, then if you do not belong to enterprise, then you can use Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition 2022 for commercial purpose as well to sell or for any other purpose. This means if you are an individual software developer or small scale software developing company, then you can use Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition to create or develop your software tools for commercial purpose. Microsoft Software License Term for Visual Studio is very generous. I pay my best gratitude to Microsoft Corporation. Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Ken. Today is September 20th, 2022. This is my 67th episode for C++17 2023 CUDA SQL OpenGL OpenCL TBB. This is the first episode for OpenGL MFC integration. We will learn how to create MFC multiple document project template 1. I will put Microsoft Software License Terms for Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2022 
the link here. In this episode, we will learn how to use warning pragma, pushy macro pragma. You can refer to this link for warning pragma. Also, pushy macro pragma. This link. These links are very useful. We will learn open GL using open GL programming guide ninth edition. Also open GL super Bible seventh edition. Obviously these books do not deal with MFC integration with OpenGL. But since I have some level of experience both in MFC and OpenGL, I think I can integrate these tools seamlessly for my and my audience advanced software development. If you do not have much experience in MFC programming, this playlist will prove useful to you. Because you are members of Homo Siliconians, you should be able to access this playlist. Also, C Sharp Programming for Desktop. C Sharp C++ CLI .NET with MFC .NET Programming with C++ CLI Videos in this playlist will also prove useful to understand how to use C Sharp WinForm Control in MFC dialog box or how to integrate C Sharp and C++ CLI with MFC application. I changed these videos for members only. When I create this application around 2013, I used Microsoft HTML control for embedded web browser. For example, you can look up elude. So you can look up dictionary inside an application. I will unselect it, then I will select image. It should work, but it's broken. Let me try with a cat. So this is not good. It worked perfectly in the past, but now it does not work as I expected. I can try English English dictionary dog. The layout is broken. It works well with neighbor or town but does not work well with Google. So in future, when I embed web browser control to my application, I will be using Shep Sharp. Shep Sharp control. When the need arises to embed web browsing control or web control, I would use Shep Sharp Chrome embedded framework in our application. I filmed six videos about how to integrate ShapeShop control with the MFC application. These videos will be useful if you want to embed ShapeShop web browser in your own MFC application. Also, you can find how to create common library. In this playlist, I created five videos. We can create two software. One is based on MFC and Microsoft technology. Another is based on Qt technology. We can communicate between two processes using COM technology called Component Object Model. We can use ATL Active Template Library or MFC COM Control Library. So when we create two different process, we can use COM technology, component object model technology to communicate between two different processes. Without further ado, let's get started. 
right click start visual studio 2022 if you want to follow my future sessions you have to watch very carefully i need all your eyes if you want to follow my future sessions we will be creating full scale application once again we will create full scale application by full scale i mean I will use quite distinct different tools or frameworks in a single application. Go to File, New, Project. We search for MFC. Select MFC App. Click Next. Make sure you select the correct working directory. Select folder, solution name 067, open GL MFC app. Here, open GL MFC app. Click create. We will use multiple document, tapped document, document view support, about compound document support, we can select these options later. We will use Visual Studio. We will use Windows 7. We will use resource language ENUS, English United States, as default. We can add more language resources in the later stage of our development. We will use MFC in shared DLL. Click Next. File extension. Open GL. MFC. I selected arbitrary extension. Main frame caption. We can change this resource later. So click next. Seek frame. Minimize box. Maximize box. We can use maximize. We will not use split wind. We will use ribbon. Now click Next, we will use printing and print preview. We will use automation. We will use ActiveX control. We will use WinSock for networking with the internet, such as FTP or HTTP. We will use common control manifest support restart manager. We open previously open document support application recovery. We will use Explorer docking fane, output docking fane, property docking fane, navigation fane, caption bar, advanced frame menu items show activate fanes. We will select 16. Actually, we can change these settings in our source code too. Now, click Next. Generated class app, select child frame. We have to select child frame. Change the class name, child frame RT app. Also, child frame RT app child frame rt app then select view we will change the view name code edit view copy paste remove c also paste remove C so code edit 
view.h, code edit view.cpp. Our base class is reach edit view. Don't worry, if you select view class again, you will have your changes. Remember, the class name is C code edit view. We use reach edit view as our code editor. We will use this code editor for CUDA kernel code. Also, OpenCL or OpenGL compute shader source code editor. Click finish. Now, select configuration manager. We will not use x86. So, we will remove x86. Remove. Yes. Click close. Also, click this. Edit. Remove Win32. Yes. Click close. Click close. Save all. Right click. Properties. Make sure all configuration selected. We will use latest installed version. We will use C++ 17. Why we use C++ 17 instead of C++ 20? The reason is for comparability with other frameworks such as .NET framework. So we select C++ 17 for comparability with .NET framework as well as CUDA toolkit. Click apply. Click OK. Now press Ctrl F5. It should build successfully and display like this. Now close it. From now on, we are going to integrate OpenGL with MFC application. I assume you have membership and watch it videos listed here especially episode 58 up to episode 56. If you haven't watched these videos and haven't set up your environment variables, my code does not work on your machine. From Solution Explorer, header file, open, framework. Here, right after target version, pragma warning push, pragma warning disable colon 4302 give a space 4311 please put these two lines now scroll down right before unicode pragma warning pop I will explain what this means. Here we store warning values onto the compiler stack. Then we disable two warnings 4302 4311. We disabled two warnings in this part of the code. Then we restore the warning. 
Now, save all. Scroll up. Right after AFX reach dot H here if D up min and if define min max defined tap in pragma pushy macro min on define min copy this paste now max undefined max here include Talk play fun output dot hpp don't concern about the skigal this skigal will be fixed shortly if the app copy this macro paste it here and if un D up, copy, paste, pragma, pop, macro, we go reverse order, so it should be max. Pragma pop macro min so in between if df min if df min max defined we include this header file now save all Right click your project, go to properties, PC directories, make sure you should select all configuration in the include, select edit, click this button. Dala include hit enter your folder path should be resolved like this you need cpp extension include path intel tbb include path also Coda include path. Lastly, you need GL tools include path. If you haven't watched my previous videos, available in the membership listed here, you cannot set these environment variables click ok click apply
apply. Now, library directories. Click edit. We need dialog lib. Hit enter. This path should include GL tools bin. Click this dialog tbb x64 underscore lib. Hit enter. You should have this path resolved. Now click OK. Select linker. Select input. Additional dependencies. Edit. Open gl32.lib. Enter. You have to put a carriage return. glu32.lib. Hit enter. Pre glut dot lib hit enter glew sorry two dot lib now click OK click apply now select debug in the debug Edit. You need D. You need D. Click OK. Click Apply. Click OK. Then this giggle disappeared. Now press Ctrl F5. You should be able to build successfully like this. Now close it. Select Release. Press Ctrl F5. It will run like this. In the future sessions, we will learn how to use Property Fane, Output Fane, how to program these things. Also, Class View, we will use this as our tree control. We can add or remove features to this application. In my next episode, I will Add more class types, more file types for graphic view. We will use this as text editor. We need graphic view to render OpenGL graphics. Also, we will integrate .NET Framework. Now, close it. You don't need to save. No.